Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Our Pakistani agent in the field writes, Hey Aaron, I see your YouTube videos and have learned a lot from you, so thank you. So I need advice from you on various things, so here it goes. I'm a 25-year-old male, born in Pakistan, and came to the United States when I was 14 years old. Came to the U.S. with my mother and two brother. My father lives in Pakistan. I do not have a good relationship with him. I did high school and college from here. One, I don't seem to find the career which I like. I studied chemical engineering in college. Upon graduation, I started working as a product engineer. I liked it in the beginning, but then I got bored, so I changed my position uh, in the company. After a year and a half, I started working as a, another type of position. I'll try and keep this anonymous. I really liked the job, but then I got bored from that, too. And then I thought I should go to L.A. to become an actor, go to D.C. and become go into politics. You have watched a lot of TV over in Pakistan about America, didn't you? <clears throat> so long story short, I quit my job and moved to D.C. There, I thought I would get a job in politics. But I guess a bad choice because I could not get a job in politics with an engineering degree. Yeah, your parents aren't also political or rich. That's how you get into politics is you have rich, connected parents. I don't know if you notice who gets elected into the United States. Um, <clears throat> it's rich, connected people. Um, also, after going to meetups such as the Democratic Party, etc., I realized that politics is not for me. Yeah, if you go to the Democratic Party and you're an engineer, you will quickly find out it's not for you. So then I was in a bad situation because my money was uh, finishing off and I had no job. So finally, I told my mother and brothers that I have quit my job. And my elder brother, who works at a bank in, near Baltimore, helped me get a job where he works by preparing me for an interview and referring to me. So long story short, I now work as a business analyst at a bank, but the thing is that I don't even like that. What do you suggest I do to find a career I love? My plan is to work this job for one year and see if I really like it. As I've been working here for just uh, a short period of time. I don't know, and I don't like it when, and if I don't like it, then I will get another job. This time I learned my lesson, so I'll probably have a job lined up before quitting. Do you think this is the right approach? Do you think I should go to LA to pursue acting just to cross that off my list? All right, look. If there's, okay, some of the key lessons in life. One, the most important thing in life is other human beings. Two, you never listen to what a woman says. Three. I'm just trying to think. Um, law of supply. But here's here's one of those lessons that should be up there. All work sucks. Okay. The the bullshits. And I understand you came through. So you've been tainted like the rest of Americans. Um, and that you believe in TV. You probably remember watching... Um, Friends, where everybody just has this wonderful job, and you're supposed to go to work. And in school, in high school, and college, probably told you that you should follow your heart, and the money will follow. And when you get a job, you should like it. No, work sucks. That's why you're paid for it, because it's work, right? You will never, never find a job you like. Never. It is so rare. It is rarer than winning the lottery, I'd say. Well, okay, that's one in several. It, it is very rare. I'd say less than a, one in a million people actually have this like dream job. And even if you think it's a dream job, like acting or modeling or being a politician, there is so much bullshit you got to go through. I have one. Of the, I'm one of the rarest, luckiest people ever. I get to do this shit. And then I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to go smoke a cigar and I'm going to go teach a dance class. All right. <clears throat> I'm a lucky motherfucker. All right. But that doesn't happen. This is, this is, but then they take someone statistically odd like me and they put that up on television and they make you think, seem like this is not only what it's like, but what you're entitled to in the United States. No, all work sucks. And you, you see this, you say, well, I tried it for this one and then I got bored and I didn't like it, so I tried another job. And I liked it at first, but I got bored and I didn't like it, I tried another job. Dude, you're going to do that forever until you can just, the job is not there for your satisfaction. You will not, uh, derive your life's meaning or value from your job. Your job is to give you money so you go and do what you want to do and that gives you your life meaning. Raise a family, become an adventurer, perhaps a hobby like pursuing acting, perhaps even participating in politics if you want, all right? As a hobby, all right? Or reading books, climbing mountains, whatever it is that you want to do, 
The job is there to provide you the money to pursue your happiness. You will not, I can almost guarantee you, you will not find happiness working as a, in a bank uh, or working <clears throat> as an engineer. Now, it might be intellectually stimulating. It, may, it, it might be less boring than other jobs, but it is still work. So just suck it up. Except it's going to suck. You're not there to live your life. You're there to make money so you can live your life. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> so what I would do, I would get the fuck out of banking right now. Banking, you're going to find out, sucks. Especially since you're an engineer. It's going to be, almost be identical to when you went and joined, or didn't join, but sat in on some of the Democrat party meetings. You're an engineer, a chemical engineer. You're obviously very bright. Uh, you're also logical, insane, and you adhere to reality and math. You go to banking, oh no. I mean, there's a lot of math as an analyst. They have these formulas you're doing underwriting, calculating the income statement, I'm sure. But then you're gonna present it to the loan committee. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, Jim, hmm, you got a bunch of white guys with stupid fucking hair, or maybe they're bald and they're fat. Mm, I don't know, what did you? And they're gonna question you, even though you're way smarter than them and you got better math than them. Um, Get out of it. There's a reason the housing bubble occurred. There's a reason we have to keep bailing out the banks. It's because it's managed by a bunch of fucking nepotistic, corrupt fucks, just like the Democrat and Republican parties, okay? So I would get back an engineer. I'm going to make more money. Chemical engineer, that's like the second highest paid engineer. I mean, dude, that's where the money is, right? That's a stable employment. That's a stable job. So get your ass back into chemical engineering. Find some place to work. Accept the fact it ain't going to be great. Uh, but you're going to get a pretty damn good paycheck. All right. <clears throat> Let's continue on. Two, currently I'm living with my brother in Delaware and of course paying him rent too, but I want to move to Philly and commute to work from Philly to Delaware. But I feel bad leaving my brother as he helped me get a job. Do you think I'm being bad if I move to Philly? The reason I want to move to Philly is because Delaware is a small city. Also, I am gay. There is a large gay population in Philly, but in Delaware there is none. Well, it, here's where it, it really depends on uh, Pakistani culture. All right now, as an American or Native American, not to mention coming from a divorced family, which is half the population, by the way, it's like, get me the fuck out of here. Like, you, uh, you move. As an American, you go out on your own. You become independent. This does not mean you don't love your family or you hate them or there was some problems. That's just what you did. That was the culture. You became an American, you became independent, and you move and you start your own life. Uh, and that's basically what America was. You want to go to L.A., or another town, or do you want to go to Philly, where there's a larger gay population? You should pursue your dream. Um, so to me, as an American a native, this seems like a no, it, 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 this is a non-issue for me. I'm like, well, why, why would your brother care? You know, like, it's not like you're not going to see your brother. You're going to work at the same bank. You guys could still get beers. Uh, Philly is not that far away. Uh, and then you get to, of course, and then also thinking in what is classically an American um, assumption or culture, it's like, you don't want your brother living with you. Like, get the fuck out of my house. Parents, get the fuck out of our house. Like, this is my house. Get the hell out of here. Get your own damn place. But that may not be the case in Pakistani culture. So, um, and that's where I'd have to defer to your authority. What I would say, this is just, just what I would say, what the fuck, you know, yeah, go ahead, move to Philly. You know, you're still going to hang out with your brother. That's not an offense or an insult. But if it is, well, that's something that you got to work through in your own Pakistani culture. You know, I've seen this where, like, um, well, Mid East, East Indian, Asian, like, if the son does something and all oh, the mother goes back shit insane. And, but what you'd, I'd almost, what I'd explain to them, because you're certainly, we'll get to the next thing. Uh, well, no, you already mentioned you're gay. I mean, you're not traditionally Pakistani, because you would have been killed in Pakistan if they found out you were gay. But um, you have to go and explain to your mother, mother, or my brother, we are now in the United States. I love you dearly, but I want to at least uh, take advantage of the opportunities this country offers us, one of which is to live where we want and be free and explore. Now, you already got the bug. You've tried. I mean, and this is admirable. You, you didn't like the job, then you tried another. When you didn't like that one, then you tried to get into politics. I mean, I've never known anyone. Why did I not just get into politics? I mean, that's balls, man. <laughs> Bit naivete, but balls. So, you certainly have this uh, wanderlust spirit. You certainly are going to try and experiment. You certainly do want to capitalize and have your shot at, at, at that. <clears throat> and that's, you know, America is the country for that. So, I think you should do it, but try to, if there's going to be any backlash, like, whoa, whoa, like your brother gets upset that you move out, if there's any backlash, try and explain to him, look, we're not in Pakistan anymore. I love you. You're my brother. I love Ma. 
and I'm only going to, I'm going to come back down, with it, but I, I have got to go, I mean, look at this, you, from the t sounds of, you guys have never gone more than 200 miles inland from the east coast of the Atlantic. There's a fucking shit ton of crap in the United States. You guys have never even explored. So I would say, look, we're here. We moved across. I'm sure you, you didn't go through easy times to get here either. We came all this way, halfway around the planet. Don't you think we should explore a little bit and avail ourselves of some opportunities here? So your allegiance will always be with them. Your love will always be with them. Heck, you're only going to Philadelphia. It's not like you know, you're a 40-minute ride away on the train. So I would explain that, and you go to Philly. Uh, three, I sometimes feel that I don't deserve to be happy. Sometimes when I am happy, I intentionally stop it. I don't know why. Also, I feel that I don't give my best. It's like I intentionally stop myself from doing my best. Also, I don't have a lot of close friends. If you could provide some advice on this, too. Well, <clears throat> I, I, well, one, I'd say stop it. The classical look up Bob Hope, or not Bob Hope, Bob Newhart, stop it on YouTube. You, you don't deserve happiness. You have the right to make yourself happy, okay? No one deserves to be happy all the time, and that's not human. Nobody's happy all the time. You'd be weird. You'd be odd. There'd be something mentally wrong with you if you were just like, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that. So, but uh, you do have the right to pursue happiness, written in our founding documents, actually. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, and if you work towards it, then you deserve it, okay? Now, why you intentionally try and stop yourself from being happy, that's weird. There's something wrong there. Uh, so that'll take some self-inflection. I go talk to a therapist on top of it. Uh, but I'm wondering if it doesn't hail from a Pakistani culture and moving here and what you went through back in Pakistan. Your father's not there. You, uh, you and your brothers and siblings obviously had to help your mother. You came here under um, not great conditions as well. You've worked together as a team. You've made it. Your brother is in banking. You're a chemical engineer. I don't know what your mother's doing. But it was probably a very hard struggle and a, an element of tribalism. If you don't know what that is, look it up. You have a loyalty, and not only a loyalty, but a fierce connection with your family and that's because you needed each other to survive and now if you're thinking about oh i'm going to go to philadelphia or i want to try la it feels like you're abandoning them that's just, that's just my my theory and then you have guilt because you guys had got to work so hard but you have to realize this is a new chapter in your life yes the goings on getting here and the initial settling in the united states was hard but now you guys have gotten past that hard part. You guys have put in your dues. You have worked very hard. You got your degree. Your brother's a banker. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, what, again, what your mom does. Now you get to benefit and, and uh, reap the fruits of your labor. The problem is, and I'm a hypocrite on this, is your entire life has been working hard, striving that, and that's how you made it to survival, that you are genetically associating um, success with strife, turmoil, and toil. But there's an end to that. The problem is your brain doesn't know that. That's how conditioned you've been. It wasn't until literally two years ago did I not have to worry about money. And like I said, this is the pot calling the kettle black. I, I'm being a hypocrite here. To this day, I feel like I got to do I got I to gotta, I gotta work. I got to go because that's otherwise I'd starve. And now this is a big problem. And it's a hard problem that you got to get over where it's like, no, we put in our dues. We busted our asses off. Now we can relax, but your brain has never relaxed. It's never enjoyed. And here, in this particular case, when you're happy, it was probably if you were happy, it was a fleeting moment, and then you had to get right back to work, or something bad would happen. And so now you're feeling guilty, and that's why you probably, because it, it, it um, in the past when you got happy, it, would, it only brought you up to crash you down even further and led you to uh, have a false sense of security or hope in the future. Now there is hope in the future. The, the, the war is over, as it is. The, 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 the troubles are gone now. But you've really got to try to recondition your brain to say, okay, now I can't go happy. I, I can be happy. So I don't know why, you, I mean, again, that's just my theory. I go talk to your ma. Or not your ma. Don't talk to your ma. Talk to your therapist. Uh, but then also, if you feel you don't give your best, well, stop that. Give your best, Okay. Otherwise, you're going to be a, a job jumper, which I understand because of your exploratory nature. But in the end, you're going to have to settle down, start making money, and commit to a career. Boring of a job as it may be, but you got to start making some money so you can, you can have a life outside of that. And stability. <clears throat> it's like I intentionally stopped myself from doing my best. Why the fuck would you do that? Stop that. Um, and as for friends, well, yeah, if, if you're worried about going to Delaware to meet 
to go hang out in the gay community. I'm wondering, or, or like, you got to worry about what your brother's going to think or what your mom's going to think. I got to live in this little, my, the little uh, culvert or the the cul-de-sac that I live with all the other Pakistani. Yeah, you're not going to develop friends. You, I mean, you're going to have great familial relationship, but you're not. You got to get out. Um, so what I recommend, yeah, go for now. Go to Philly if you want. Uh, get into the gay community. You're obviously going to make some friends. You're, you you'll meet some lovers too. Uh, but then also permit yourself to partake in a hobby that you've always wanted to partake in. I don't know what that could be. I mean, if you like uh, go-kart racing, uh, flying kites, I, I mean, anything. Whatever it is that your dream old guy when you were a kid and you wanted to come to America and you wanted to make ice cream, I don't know, whatever it was, try that. And there's usually, you know, you've gone to meet up, you know that there's meet up people and, and find a hobby that you want to do. Frivolous. Not serious, not engineering, not business, not finance, something frivolous, fun, exercise, volleyball, something, anything. I don't care what, just not serious, right? Um, and then one other thing, even though you didn't ask about it, please get off the East Coast, <laughs> okay? Philly sucks. I know this has been your entire life, and you, and it's, it's great compared to Pakistan, but... Um, Pakistan is to the East Coast as the East Coast is to the rest of the country. The East Coast sucks. Philly sucks. You have not explored other towns. You haven't been to Denver. You haven't been to Kansas City. You haven't been to Dallas. You haven't been down to Florida. You haven't been, I mean, well, maybe you have been to LA or whatever. Um, but I would say since you are gay, I'm not to say that the Philadelphia gay scene ain't that great, but Philly sucks, man. All these East Coast towns, they fucking suck. I would go out and explore. Uh, go fly out to San Francisco. I guess check the king of, of um, the gay community. Check out Minneapolis. Huge gay community. Uh, but it's cold here. Uh, and that's another thing about Philly. There's snow. Fuck that. Go like where it's warm. Plenty of night. Austin. Austin's kind of more uh, liberal or libertine. Uh, it's just all these different towns. So what I would recommend doing is flying out to these places once you get a stable job. Uh... And, and just explore this country. See what's out there. And you'll find a town like, holy shit, this is the community I want to live in. And that doesn't even necessarily have to be the gay community. But you'll go to L.A., you know, go ahead, give it your shot. Become a chemical engineer in L.A. And then go in on the side, you know, pursue your, your acting career. I, I wouldn't have any expectations. But um, you, you have got to get out of that bubble. Um, the East Coast, it's amazing to me. And this isn't just Pakistani or immigrants. I've known white people. I've known uh, black people, natives, uh, Americans born here. They've lived, they've never made it the other side of the Mississippi. It's like, what the fuck, guys? There is so much more and so much better, way better than the East Coast. Uh, you just got to go out there and sample it a little bit, all right? So that's the other thing I'd recommend. Check out, the, it could be like your little new mission. You get a map of the U.S. and you put little pins in the major towns where you visited the gay community. Bo Boys Town in Chicago. Chicago, if you still want that East Coast feel, major metropolitan area, but not so shitty, Go to Chicago. Go to Boys Town. Check that shit out. That's a fun time. I mean, I've been to Boys Town. I've been, uh, friends of mine are gay, so I've never had a bad time at a gay bar. Never had a bad time at a gay club. Everyone, they're gay. They're happy. <laughs> Lesbian bar? Eh, I'm not sure. So <laughs> anyway, best of luck to you. Welcome to the U.S. Um, please avail yourself of every opportunity. If you're going to join a party, please join the Republican Party, or at least the Libertarian Party. Toodles.